um, but when you talk about children um, and fear, we have a refugee family from Syria who lives in that home over there, and they're not going to know what you're hollering about. Yeah. Um, so I just, they have five children, and I just don't want them to be afraid of what's happening. Okay. So like I said, I'm, I can't tell you to stop, and, and you can do whatever you want to, and that's fine. I just don't... Uh, the mother especially still has PTSD because of what they went through to try and get out of the country and get here. Yeah. And I don't want her and her kids to be afraid. So again, okay. you can, your message is fine. I don't care what you're saying. It's just with, with the hollering there. I just stopped over and she was like, and she doesn't speak as English as well as her husband. Um, but I tried to talk to the kids who go to school. They speak English. I'm like, it's okay. You don't have to be afraid. But um, that's all I'm you know, just in consideration of them. Yeah. That's um, all I'm asking. Do you know that the leadership of your church supports Planned Parenthood? Yes. Okay, and, it, and that's evil, right? No, because as a cancer survivor, I can tell you that Planned Parenthood is important because access to affordable health care is what we do. We know the that person, can be. That can be. Um, know, you can get that through other methods, right? Not through a place that murders children, right? Well, I can tell you that the one here doesn't do that because one of the pastors' daughters... Actually, they daughters, do up to 10 weeks. Okay. One of our pastor's daughters is the nurse practitioner there. So we know what goes on there regardless of what you've been told. The so, Sheboygan Press posted very clearly, and it stated they perform them up to 10 weeks chemical abortion one mile down the road that way. Okay. They so their can website's wrong? do it. They can do it. They, they do do it. doing it. They're murdering children, ma'am. People can one percent, one child murdering at that facility is morally wrong. I don't. If a child is being murdered at the, that facility, I don't deny that. Yep. But do you also support that once they're born, that they have access to health care? Do you stand with your megaphone? Because I I support that. Do you stand with your megaphone and advocate for health care and justice for all of God's children? What Absolutely. do you mean by health care? You do realize that not everyone has the equal access to affordable health care. Right, but I don't believe it's the okay. government's. I don't believe it's the government's job to give people health care. Okay. And I don't. I don't deny that. But the point is, is that you want the child to be born, but you don't want to take care of it. That's Who said that? Problem. Who said that? You just did. No, no, no I didn't. No, 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 no. So how do how do you so how do you advocate that people have access that? Um, people to take responsibility and take care of their own children and provide for their own children, right? I don't deny Okay, so that's that what they, they should do, right? They need the help. The church steps in. It's not the government. Right, the so church should help them. Pays for health care for people? Actually, we've done a lot of stuff. My wife and I have done stuff for individuals. So your church pays for health care for people as well, I'm asking. No, they've taken care of, like, help with children within the womb, help with mothers, like single mothers Once that don't have to. As, the, as they're born, single moms are going to our church because they're getting assistance. That's a wonderful thing, and I, I, I do. I applaud that. So, so don't. That part of it, I, that bothers me tremendously. That we want to advocate and be a voice for them until they get here, and then That's they don't have no services that they need, and then they get in trouble, and then we'll support the death penalty. Conception? That is very backwards to me. Well, well no, the, the death penalty is very biblical. That's God's standard for justice, ma'am. God it, enacted the death penalty. In fact, if you go to Acts chapter five, God in the, God shows the death penalty in Acts chapter five. Okay. Ananias and Sapphira. Yeah. Well, we read our scriptures very differently. So yeah, that's no, my you point. You'll so, support, you'll support this. We take it as so, but, you support, but you support the death penalty. A criminal God's is word. completely different than an innocent did human being. Hear, I, did you hear what I said, though? Instead of trying to come up with a response, all I'm saying is I want... I'm not in favor. I don't advocate abortion either. I would never have one. My point this is... put out a letter to the... <laughs> I signed it. I I'm one of the pastors. Yeah, so you're supporting <laughs> abortion. You. You're publicly supporting mass murder, ma'am. I am not publicly you supporting You need you need to repent. Yes, you did. Apparently. If you signed that letter, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you I supported, supported a place that murders children. Care. Healthcare. No, that's not health care. That place commits mass murder, okay? It doesn't matter what else they do. You supported a place that commits mass murder. People can get health care at so many other places. Why would you support the place that murders children, ma'am? I've been there many times for health care. I get that. But you are also denied certain certain access to health care if you can't pay for it. There's also and the Pregnancy Crisis medical, Center. We pay for medical bills for some people. As a matter of fact, the mosque worked with us to help to pay for some of the... This is before we were involved in the refugee stuff. To pay for health care for certain people because people didn't have access. They couldn't afford medicine. So not everyone... You, they, 
actually afford. And employers are providing far, far fewer of them are providing health care packages that support all of those things. So again, I and said, that somehow justifies supporting a place that murders children. The United States murders children. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't. it shouldn't. So we should oppose I mean, everything that, country, that, that murders about children. Other sure, right? So. They do. Yes, right. <laughs> so, so, so let's oppose all murder, right? Let's oppose every organization that well, murders children. No, 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 no. Murder <laughs> that's not murder, ma'am. Someone that is innocent. This is intentionally killing a child that was innocent. You can clearly so see. I don't understand how biblically you can justify. Genesis nine six. Okay, if you understand God to be a God of grace, how do you justify? So you can throw Why whatever Bible. Why did you kill Ananias and Sapphira? Acts chapter five. Okay. Do you eat shellfish? No, actually, I don't like anything that's in the sea, to be honest with you. I'm not a fish fan or anything. No, actually, I'm not a pork fan. Does your I wife like cover sausage. her head all the time? Does what? Does your wife cover her head all the time? Okay, now you're talking Levitical law. No, 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 no. I'm you saying if you're going to support it all, as, as if you're no, going to no, support no, no, it no, no, all, no, no, no. and throw it at people that the Bible moral says, and you have to... Moral you're, and ceremonial. You're not understanding God's law, ma'am. I don't understand God God's law. No, you don't. I have a graduate degree in theology. I'm assure you well, that I have studied God's law. Well, they were teaching not you some bogus churches. stuff. <laughs> no, not from my church's thing. I went to the University of Chicago Divinity School and then graduated from Chicago Theological Seminary. So I'm telling you, and I've studied the Bible. You don't have to and, you don't even, and you don't even know where... You're a minister, are you not? I, I am an ordained minister, yes I am. But you don't even know that the Bible commands the death penalty. Do you understand Genesis 6, Genesis 9, 6? I know a lot okay. of the Bible. And that's my point, is that you can throw, we can throw scriptures at each other all day, but that doesn't mean we're talking to each other. Well, you should obey God's word, right? You should, we should we speak should e scripture to one another, right? So, loving one's neighbor, what is that? Right, mean? love your neighbor. That means not, one. it means not supporting not businesses that murder your neighbors, right? So, love your neighbor as yourself, not right? The child that in the womb. This one can be murdered right down businesses there. businesses that murder our neighbors, right? Right. We recognize that we have a lot of chemicals in our food that are illegal in a lot of places in Europe and other places that are causing cancer at significant rates in our country and we support that. We have people who will do what you're doing, and which I applaud by the way. I might not agree with what you're saying. I applaud you're going out and living the, your faith as you understand you're called to do it. We, we have lobbyists that have more money than we do. So in Europe, you can't get things like repair and orange soda because they've demonstrated scientifically that it, there are cancer causing agents and we let our children drink it because there's people with more money than we have that make that possible so that's my only point is that we, we should love our neighbors all right so all so are you treating born children the same way like are you treating pre-born children the same way you treat born children like if they were mass murdering born children at Planned Parenthood would you still support Planned Parenthood okay but then then you're you're discriminating based on age and you're in rebellion against God I, I have family member. They tried for seven years to get pregnant. And they did. And there was a problem with the baby in utero. And my family member vehemently protested that, because they said, your child can be born, you know, you will deliver. It was a little boy. And he'll live at best about five weeks. And he's going to be in significant pain. And with everything in my sister-in-law's, everything within her wanted to have this baby. And they got to the point where they were going to do it. My brother was like, having the baby would be good for us. I'm not going to have a child for us. If he's going to be in pain and he's not going to survive. So you do realize that they tried to have this child they prayed for this child. They did everything they could to have it. And when they had to go for the benefit of the baby, they had to walk through a line of people who were screaming at them that they were sinful. So you're saying they went and murdered the child. They didn't have to do that, you know? <laughs> so do you want to stand in a hospital room and watch an infant crying? For up to five weeks because they're going to be in pain once they're born. They didn't uh, no, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to ask God to intervene and save that baby's life. Perhaps. You know, because God, God can do miracles, right? But we always no. have to obey God's word, his commands, right? If he says don't murder, then we got to obey that no matter what we think is going to happen. So what, what about loving your neighbor? They you're not loving your neighbor when you're killing your neighbor, when God could save your neighbor 
from that life of pain, right? But if you God, don't know what's going to happen. God, the criminal God could save also, right? The what? The criminal God could save also, right? Criminal God? No, I'm saying the criminal is someone God could save oh. also, correct? If through repentance and Yes, life. yes, God so can save why criminals. Do, why do we take why do we take it upon ourselves then to kill someone? Why not just keep them in prison? Well, example? because God commands us, right? God God says God, God says if any man sheds man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. Okay. Go further, go back to Ananias and Sapphira. When they were put to death, when God struck them dead, fear fell over the whole church. That's what the scripture says. When God enacts his judgment, fear falls on his people. I do believe that God will exercise judgment. And that are going to be judged most harshly are not the ones we think. I, 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 I completely Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Well, define iniquity. Sin? Define define your sin, and that's my point. Is that Morning. what? Hey man, she's not wasting her time. She's hearing the truth. So was I talking to you? No, but I can talk to you. I was just asking. Lord, stop wasting time. I know. I just. She's not wasting her time. Kids, on behalf of the kids, yeah. I was just asking them to. Parents? Yeah, man. <laughs> you, you, Again, your leadership supports a, an organization that, that commits murder. Right. Have a great day. Day. It's not a good day. You need to repent, no, ma'am. We support your right to do it. I was just saying that the children over here. Are do you know history? Okay. Yep. Yeah. So try not to have a conversation with any of you. Do you understand history? Yes. Do you understand the group that you're supporting? Where they come from in history? Do you understand history? Do you understand the group that you're supporting? Where their history? What from? group? What group are you referring to? What group are you supporting? We're abolitionists of abortion. We're seeking to save people from being mass murdered by abolishing Understood. a widespread what evil. What group are they from? Group? So that group is supported by somebody. Uh, we support did ourselves. Did these come free or did a printer print these? Um, well, we organize. You know, we come together and we work together. Did they get free or did a printer print them? No, abolitionists them. pay for it. Somebody <laughs> is paying for it. We Thus, did. there's we a did. group. So who's the group? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? So who are you paying for? I paid for these signs. Simple question. What's the group? What is this origin that you're supporting? That's all I asked anybody. Uh, and, and I'm answering you and I'm saying we are abolitionists. We are Christians who pay for our signs and we, right. and we make materials question. and we go out and we reach people with the truth. Outstanding. Okay. That's all I asked you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So why are you, why are you asking? Why are you so angry and agitated? America has a history. That's well, all I said to you. The original. The original. <laughs> yeah, and what what about history? What are you what are you trying to what is the point you're trying to make? We're abolitionists like the abolitionists yeah, of, of slavery. Not, not you know, in the 1800s we're standing up against systemic injustice. Again, simple thing. Learn your history. That's all I said. <laughs> Once you, you know the history, history of Planned Parenthood. Come back and we will have sure, sure. any dialogue you want to have. Elijah Lovejoy. Tell me about him. An abolitionist. And that question of him earlier, he's talking about. Do you st are you telling me that he paid for this sign? So you just said you paid for it. Yes, I paid for it out of my own. No, he. I worked all day long. I, and I agree. So I never said another word to you. You, I definitely fully support your right to say what you're saying. So you, you, you yours, have my 100% support because you are you've taken a cause that you believe in, and you are putting your funds into it. No different than I support for anybody who does something else. If your funding is coming from something else other than your own pocket, then all I say is know the history of the group that you're supporting. Correct. Okay. okay. Every one yeah. of us. Yeah. You should you should look things. into the history of Planned Again, Parenthood. I applaud all of you all for what you're doing. So what else do you? Yeah. Mean? Yeah. Planned Parenthood I did. I came has had I did. an agenda to eradicate minorities. You, you understand that? You so understand don't sign like letters or articles or whatever no, that support yeah. Planned Parenthood, yeah. right? That's evil. That's rebellion against God. You need to repent, ma'am. He continues to address me. Uh, no, it's an objective fact. So we're all good. And as long as you're paying from yourself, and this is what you believe in, I applaud you. Look at look into the history of Planned Parenthood. You're asking if we know history. If I know history, do you know the history of Planned Parenthood? Do you know that the founder was a was a was a racist? Do you see me? running around with a sign for Planned Parenthood. No, but you're asking me, so I'm asking the same the question. Do you know history? The church put out a letter you know to the, the editorial that they stand with Planned What's the history for Sheboygan County? 
I don't know. I'm you can ask me that question for anything. I'm I didn't a, I'm support asking you it. Question. I wasn't part of it. So you, how would I know? Well, do you know the history of Planned Parenthood? You're asking me if I no, know I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I do, yes. But I don't. See how, so racist, I your question. See how racist they are. Did, did I, did I question anything about Planned Parenthood. So for clarity, you brought Planned Parenthood. Okay, just just know that the leadership of your church supports Planned Parenthood. 100%. And that's evil, okay? You know who they are. So they need the to leaders. repent. They need to get right with God because they're they're living in rebellion against God. What they support and what I support is that a person should have the right of choice. Just right like you have the, right. the right to choose to murder people. Right to murder just like you that's have rebellion have against God, man. So I listen to you all. Listen. You have the right to stand here with your sign. Didn't I say that I that if you're paying for this out of your own pocket, I support you 100%. Okay, I don't care if you think it's a right for us to do this. What I care about is the fact that you think it's okay to murder children I and you call it a so. choice. I think in America, it is the law. Yeah, and it's the I wrong law, right? You. Why would you support, support the wrong law? An evil law, a tyrannical legal. law. It was legal to murder Jews in Nazi Germany. It was legal to, to torture it and, and murder legal black people. It was legal to sling up black people from trees. So and there was nothing that. we could do about it because it was the law it was of the it. land. You're right. It was legal. And as long as the law of the land, then it should be supported. No, it so shouldn't. I disagree no. with or not. So you would have supported it all <laughs> Nazis. So if they would have came for you, you'd have supported it. <laughs> so, do you all think no, that I no, supported no, slavery? Not. You don't well, no. Do you think I supported black people being strung up on trees? Do you think I support cops shooting unarmed people? But you said we should obey the law that no, says that's, yeah, that's, that's you okay. That. No, I didn't. You said you support I said that. I support you and your right to be here. No, you, you so you, I think what you're doing is ridiculously insane. Why? But I support your right to do it. Why is this insane? This insane to murder children? Why is it insane to stand up for little babies who are being mass murdered by the thousands every day? You have the right to do it. You have that. the right to my, do it. My point, my no point one's questioning. We understand right. that, okay? I got it. My only point is, is that if we're going to talk about children, there's a family that is still experiencing post-traumatic stress and syndrome from a war in Syria, and they have five small children in consideration of them only. Like I said, to say whatever. Yeah, so, so you're, okay. So we can get the interpreters to come back and let them know that they don't have to be afraid of what you're doing. It has nothing to do with, because the first thing they think is that you're protesting them. So that's been made clear, but they don't know what the hollering and all this stuff well, is about. You can just talk to us. They can talk to us like you have. Yeah. They don't speak your language. Do you 